status icon for your buildings. To the right of the screen, you'll see the status icons for their buildings. Wolves and other creatures can damage your buildings. If they manage to destroy one, you'll fail the night. Wow, okay. We don't want to do that. Drink the Canadian whiskey in your pack. This is no time for drinking games. I'm pressing one. Oh, it enrages you. Yeah, okay, yeah. I believe that. Allowing you to do special attacks. Alright. You're not allowed to move temporarily when you're doing these, apparently. Okay. Especially, I, I see, I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. I never should have let you stay here. You just bring bad luck. There was nothing I could do, I tell you. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know what happened. The bridge to Wolves Vale was burned down. We'll have to wait till morning. Just more bad luck. Alright, werewolf. When the soul of a human body is corrupted by the devil, it can escape its body at nightfall to go werewolf. The soul can then locate a wolf or a dog and possess it soon after the animal grows to monstrous size and acquires distorted features along with greatly increased strength. Retaining part of its human intellect, the werewolf is cunning and a relentless predator that will often lead large packs of wolves characteristics. Very realist, uh, re, uh, resistant to all personal weapons except those that are blessed. Recommended traps. Hanging net, spikes, spikes trap, and wayside cross. Chapter 2. Desires and Regrets. December 6, 1858. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? You're only a man, LCR. Who's there? Who are you? Abraham Lincoln? No. But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accuse her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> He's very well spoken. And that is what brings me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. All right, here's a strategy mode. In this mode, you're able to place traps in the forest, strategically plan your defense for the upcoming night. Oh, that's interesting. I see them. The beasts want to carry me back to their master, and they'll attack tonight. I feel, I even feel the presence of a werewolf. Omens. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. 
The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. I have a feeling I might know where I want to place a trap at least. Now that I know where the beasts are going to attack from, I'll set wolf traps to help me tonight. There you go. Alright. Click on the wolf trap to select it. Time required 20 action points, cost 10 cents. Instantly kills wolves and grand wolves, inflicts 3 points of damage to all other enemies. Immune creatures, the will o wisps um, characteristics, triggers automatically when the beast walks over it. Tips best used in narrow paths. Okay, so I guess they want me to place it there, so we'll put it there. Alright. Yeah, let's do the uh, tutorial movie. What the heck? The Wolf Trap. You can walk over your wolf trap without worry. You won't set it off. A wolf trap will automatically activate when an enemy walks over it. I'll, try, I'll also try to lure other beasts under hanging nets. Okay, let's see what that's about. Click on the hanging net to select it. Hanging net, time required 30 action points, cost is free. Oh, that's good. Inflicts 28 points of damage divided among affected enemies. So it sounds like it's an area effect weapon. Immune creatures, none. That's nice. Characteristics must be hung from nearby trees. And it's triggered by shooting with a rifle. Tips use sound, bait, or wind to attract the beast under the net. Be sure to reload your rifle ahead of time. All right. Very interesting. Yeah, let's check it out. The hanging net. The number above the net represents the amount of enemies underneath your trap. All you have to do is aim and shoot the net to bring it down on your enemies. Oh, they were, said they were devouring bait, so it looks like you have bait underneath the nets, too. I'm sure they'll get to that. Okay, I finally finishing, finished setting my traps. Now I just need to wait for nightfall. Have some whiskey. You start every night at your house. Click on the Start Night button to put your plan to the test. Alright, let's give it a go. Detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. 
When you move, you make more noise. An enemy will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions like firing your rifle or shouting create a lot of noise. When an enemy hears you, a marker will appear at your feet. This marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. Oh, All enemies okay. that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you again, he will leave the area after a short period of time, and the marker disappears. I see what we're going to be doing here. The dashed circle on your mini-map is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. Yeah, let's do this. Ah, I'll make stew from what's left of you, dang nabbit! Let's get out of that area so they don't see us. Let's get a rifle ready. We'll just watch for the counter to go up to three, it looks like, or two, maybe. time I spent in the hunter playing uh, using the uh, musket. I think I'll go this way. It'll be a long... actually can't even get to it the way I was going. comes in and not into our circle here in a second. Ah, hey, he knows we're here. Hell. Wait, which way is he coming from? Oh, he's coming in behind us. So we need to move this way. Son. Ah, that hurt. Is he dead? That's me. Money. Alright, tutorial two of three is done. Well guys, if you're liking this, you can get this on Steam for like I think it was fourteen ninety nine. 